Machine learning models don't just give an answer. They also typically return a score that shows how confident the system was that it's correctly recognized the input. Knowing how to use that confidence score is an important part of using machine learning. Here's an example of how a student used this in their project. What their script says here is that if the machine learning model has got less than 50% confidence that it's correctly recognized a command, it should reply with, I'm sorry, I don't understand, instead of taking an action. This project was trained to understand commands to turn on a lamp or a fan, but when they asked it, make me a cheese sandwich, the assistant didn't try and turn on a lamp or a fan, it said, I don't understand. That command was unlike any of the example commands that had been used to train the model, and that caused the machine learning model to have a very low level of confidence that it had recognized the command. And that was represented with a very low confidence score. Now the challenge for students was knowing what confidence score threshold to use. Was 50% a good choice? Instead of telling them a good value to use, I let them try out different values and decide for themselves. By playing and experimenting with it, they get a feel for the impact that this threshold has on their project. And what they learned was there isn't one correct confidence threshold that makes sense for all projects or for all machine learning models. What I mean is they noticed that if they set the confidence threshold very, very low, then their assistant would almost always take an action but it would take an action even when it hadn't actually understood the command correctly, and it would take an inappropriate or, or maybe a wrong action. But conversely, if they set the, the confidence threshold very, very high, their assistant would only take an action when it was very, very confident that it had correctly recognized the command. Now, the good thing was when it took an action, it rarely took the wrong action. But the bad thing was it said, I don't understand very often, even when it had correctly understood what they'd asked it to do. It was fascinating hearing students describe the assistant configured like this as being too shy or too timid, that their machine learning system didn't have enough self-confidence. My favorite description was a student who described their machine learning powered assistant as being like when they don't put their hand up in class to answer a question, even when they actually know the answer, because they're not confident enough that they have the right answer. This also sparked a great conversation about when these different types of behaviors are appropriate. You know, for some applications, such as a machine learning system used by doctors, they said they would want a cautious system that doesn't risk getting things wrong. For other applications, like a machine learning system that recommends what song they should listen to next, they thought it was better that a system should try when it has an answer and that it would be okay if it sometimes made mistakes. Students learn how to effectively use confidence scores that are returned by machine learning models by being given a chance to play and experiment and see the difference that a different confidence threshold would make.